What is up guys, it's your boys of PhD and welcome to another tutorial uh, where I teach you guys how Tkinter works and how you can make different looking GUIs. In this tutorial I'll be looking at buttons, how you can add images to buttons and how you can add a little bit of animation to buttons. So by the end of this video we'll have something that looks like this, there will be a button, you'll be able to hover over it, they'll display a tick and when you click on it the function is played which is just display a label just to keep it simple. So just close that. And uh, this is just some basic code I have. If you don't know how to write this, I have uh, a whole playlist of all the tutorials I've done. Just click on the introduction and you'll get the same exact code, except for I just spaced it out so that it's easier to see on the video. Another thing I think I need to do is just make it slightly bigger just so that everyone else, so that you can see it uh, when you're watching online. Let me just change that. Okay, so that will be much easier for you guys to see. So what we'll be doing is we'll be messing with the button uh, label we have here. And as you can see, we just have a normal button, which is just tkinter.button, root, then text is just this is a button. And then the command is on click. And on click literally just pr uh, prints press, pressed, and it displays the label press. So if we just click F5 to see how that works. Should take that out of the way we got here and all it does is you click the button and it displays pressed over and over again and if you look into the shell it just pre uh, creates pressed okay but this is a bit mm, it's not really good is it we we want the button to look a lot nicer so what we can do is uh, assign buttons with images uh, and it's really easy to do this so let's just get that done but before I do get that done I also want to tell you one important thing when working with buttons when you enter a command obviously you use a function the function comes with brackets but you never add the brackets into the function inside your command because let me show you what happens if you do if I enter those control save and I run it as you can see the button no longer works and it actually ran the function before the button was clicked because the way in which that works is Python just goes by each goes to each line and just runs it that means it runs the function before the button can do can use the function if you know if you understand what I'm trying to say therefore you do not add the, uh, the brackets and tkinter when you click command will just automatically understand tell Python that yeah this is a function not just a variable so let's actually get to the image part. So let me just find my project folder. Here's my project folder. It's very messy. Just deal with it, I guess. Yeah, I'll tidy up by for the next uh, tutorial. And I put an image here, two images, button one and button two. This is this will be the non-highlighted button. This will be the highlighted button. Stay with me. So make sure you know uh, your path for this. For me, it, I don't need to know the path because I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna do, you're gonna give the, your image a, ver a variable name. So I'm just gonna go image one to keep it simple, equals tkinter dot photo image with I in the image being capital and P in photo being capital and then open and close brackets and inside you write file equals and then uh, speech marks and inside that you enter the, 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 the file location however because my file my my actual code here is in the same place as the button I don't actually need to t type in the file location just the file name so I'm just gonna type in the name of this which is button one so it's just gonna go button one and then you have to add the file extension for it to work if you don't add the file extension it will it won't work it won't find the file and another thing is a disclaimer certain file uh, file extensions don't work i recommend just using png i think gif uh, gif 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 works uh, however i'm not sure if things like jpeg work that's something that i've never used so i wouldn't be able to tell you whether that works and then under that you add this uh, you do uh, no, scrap that. What you do now is you replace the text, you remove this totally, and instead of text, you write image and then equals and then the name of the variable that you selected here, which is image one. So you add that after the equals image one, and that should technically work already. So if we cl click F5, as you can see, the button is now different. 
but if we want to add animation we got to remove the pack dot, dot pack here and in a new line you write button dot image equals and then variable name this we do this so that it saves uh, the image inside um, I'm not sure how to say inside the cache because uh, the Python will delete the image after it's not needed anymore but we need it so that the button keeps the image if you if you understand what I'm trying to say that's just a basic way of of explaining why that is I bet you some a better computer scientist could definitely explain that in a better way and then here you do button dot pack and I'll show you in a second why you have to have that there once I'm finished with the animation so the next thing you want to do is add a, add a, a line of code that the text whether your mouse is over the button or not and then request the code to do something when your mouse is hovering over it or when it's not hovering over it so what you do is button dot bind then open and close brackets inside that you do this and you write use these arrows and in between you write enter with a capital E and then comma and then the function name which will let's just make it enter and now above this you're gonna make a function called enter because that's what you entered here if this if you entered dog here then this has to be dog and obviously you just do what you do when you're doing a normal function and inside the brackets you just write e and that's it and then here let's just as a test just click hovered as a test and if we click f5 and save that and then open the shell if I did everything correctly let me just make this a bit smaller because I can't see it, it's off screen if we go like this as you can see the code is detecting that it's hovered and it's telling the the this function to run whenever our mouse is over the button but obviously we don't want that we want the code to actually change the image so we do that by doing this you remove that and you do uh, you add another variable name, preferably a different variable name from uh, your image here. So I'm going to just do uh, image2 instead of image1. So image2. And then you're going to go equals tkinter, not photo, image. And then inside here, you just do file equals. And then the name of the second image will be, which will be button2.png. Because that's what we named it inside here and I will provide a download link for these for these images if you want them although they're nothing big but if you want to learn with me I did forget to mention that at the start I will have a link in the description which will allow you to select these buttons um, next you're gonna click enter and you're gonna do button uh, or actually for this don't forget what I just said what you're gonna enter now is the variable name of your actual button so for me it's a button but if it was dog you write dog here but obviously I have buttons so I'm gonna write button and then square brackets opening and closing and in the middle inside speech marks you write image that's what we're referring to we're trying to change uh, this uh, this here which we defined image as image 1 but we want to change image that is here to image 2 so you're gonna now do equals image and 2 and again, we're going to do the same that uh, the thing we did here, and we're going to do button dot image equals image one. And same here, like I said, just to make sure you know what you're doing when you're doing this on your own without the tutorial. If this is dog, this is also dog here. This is also dog. This is dog, and this is dog. If this is cat, this is cat. This is cat. That is cat, and that is cat. Okay just to make sure uh, just to make sure that uh, if you're doing this on your own you know what you're doing oh and I made a mistake not image 1 image 2 so now if we run f5 and then save that when we go like this as you can see it changed but hmm we have an error it's once it's changed it's not changing back and that's when we do something similar to what we did here and instead of enter we do leave so let's just enter a new line and you do button dot to bind and then instead of uh, enter in the middle of these uh, arrows you do leave and then obviously instead of enter being your thing you do leave which will be our second function that we need to define 
So we just create a second function called leave, uh, not with a capital letter, leave. Then we also do E inside of that, and then you do that, and you do that. And if you don't understand, E is just because this, uh, this function bind actually sends a value to this function, so the E must be there so that it all works. And then you literally just do the same, but instead of image image two, because we're referring back to this image, you can use the same uh, uh, variable you did there, and I did image one. So we're just gonna keep image one, and we're just gonna go equals tkinter, not photo image, spell photo right correctly, uh, and then file, and then this is gonna be again, button one, not png, and then button, square brackets, image equals image two, and then button dot, button dot image equals image two. And now, if I wrote everything correctly, if we click F5 and we click OK, when you hover over it, oh, no, we're going out error. <laughs> My mistake, instead of image one, you write image, you make sure you do image one because this and this has to be the same. I apologize for that. And now, as you can see, it's working perfectly fine and we got exactly what we wanted. But another thing I wanted to do, because this is a general button tutorial here, I also want to show you what things you can do with your button. So the easy one, easy stuff you can do with your button is you can add a background color, which you, because the uh, normal background color is just uh, the, it's just gray because that's just what it takes it as. So let's do black because if you see what I mean now, it will give this a uh, little border effect, which I think makes it look cool. So if you're doing, for example, the button that I'm sharing with you here, it looks much cooler when it has the black border. And that's basically it. That's all you need to know for for button. If you have anything else you want to know how to do with a button, make sure to, to tell me in a uh, this into inside the comment section down below and I'll make sure to to read it tell you and if, if it's too difficult Make a video about it so that you guys can understand But anyway, make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy and if it did help you My name is Odrick HG. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye